Okay, so this is my review of the Logitech G102 or G203 Light Sync after 4 months of heavy usage. Since I have a very sweaty hands, the original matte coating is starting to get glossy and shiny because of at least 5 hours of daily usage. When we talk about the build quality, the Logitech G102 is built like a tank since day one. No flex, no rattle, or even crick on the mouse. Both left and right click is still crispy which is very good considering that it is just using Omron 10 amps. I have not encountered any double clicking yet but I am going to replace these switches soon. The side buttons and the DPI buttons stayed pristine and crispy as I rarely use them. The scroller left the mouse felt really good when using it, very satisfying to use, it performs well as it is on the first day. The mouse fits actually got a little bit better, it became more shiny and glossy, it feels more smooth and faster than before which is odd because I thought it will wear and tear the longer you use it, but I guess I'm wrong. Now, regarding the sensor, I did not encounter any problems with it, it has a low lift of distance which is good and it, per and it performs alright, you know, it has a job, there's not, not really much to talk about the sensor. Moving on to the cable, it is rubber, it is not good and stiff, I'm not a fan of it since it has a lot of cable drags, I just taped it at my monitor to reduce the drag but a mouse bungee will surely fix that which I already ordered and will unbox in my channel soon and yeah. This mouse weighs around 84 or 85 grams which is kind of heavy nowadays that's why I bought a $20 Razer Viper Mini that I am using while I edit this video. This mouse performs really great especially for its price but I think it's just not for me because I use claw grip and the hump on this mouse is just too low for me. Despite that, I am still planning to upgrade this mouse by installing Parker cable, soldering new switches, installing tiger skates and adding side grips. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching guys and a simple like and subscribe really helps a lot for a small YouTuber like me. And yeah, thank you guys for the 183 subscribers. I love you all.